As we continue our study of Amos chapter 8, we come to verse 14, and here we find the third result of there being a famine in the land for the word of God, and that is that there comes to be a lack of respect for Bible authority. Here Amos writes, As for those who swear by the guilt of Samaria, who say, As your God lives, O Dan, and as the way of Beersheba lives, they will fall and not rise again. In this verse, we see the Israelites acknowledging the gods and the false religions of the peoples around them, and this put these false gods on the same level with the one true God. Now, our God is a jealous God, Exodus 20 and verse 5, and he expects his people to serve him exclusively. They are not to go after any other God or any other philosophy or religion. We know that the Bible comes from God, for Paul tells us this in 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, that all scripture is inspired by God. Christ is the one who has all authority. All authority in heaven and earth has been given unto him, Matthew 28, 18. And his words are the ones that will judge us, John 12, 48. Therefore, the Bible is our standard and our basis. Just as the Israelites were not to go off into the false religions of man, we are not to go off into false religions today. And Paul warned us not to let anyone take us captive through philosophy and empty deception according to the tradition of men, according to the elementary principles of the world, rather than according to Christ, Colossians 2.8. He told the Corinthians that he came preaching Christ, not worldly wisdom, 1 Corinthians 2, 1 and 2. And his purpose was so that their faith would not rest on the wisdom of men, but upon the power of God, 1 Corinthians 2 and verse 5. Now some today use the Bible, but they fail to preach the gospel. They preach a distorted form of the gospel, making it though it were a different gospel altogether. Some twist the scriptures to their own description, as Peter says in 2 Peter 3.16, and they try to conform the Bible to their thinking rather than conform to the thinking of the Bible. Now some will say that it does not matter what you believe on such and such as long as you believe this. But if the Bible says something, then it is important. James wrote, whoever keeps the law and yet stumbles in one point, he has become guilty of all, James 2 and verse 10. Now who are we to say what law does and does not matter to God? There are several different views that people have regarding the days of creation in Genesis chapter 1. The text shows the days to be literal consecutive days. But some say that the days are long ages of time. Some hold other views. Then some come along and say that it does not matter if you believe the days of Genesis 1 are literal or not, just as long as we see and appreciate God's power in creation. But appreciating God's power does not give us a license to disregard the plain teachings of his word. There are also several different views that people hold regarding salvation. When we look at the New Testament, we see that salvation is a gift of God that is made possible by the death of Christ, but it has certain conditions that must be met. And those conditions are belief, repentance, baptism, and continued faithfulness on our part. But some believe that we're saved simply by our faith alone. Others believe that we're saved by inviting Jesus into our heart. And you can talk to other people and be told other things. But the common thought in all of those is the love and grace of God. And people think that it does not matter what you believe, that you need simply to place your faith in Christ. And if you will do that, then God's grace and God's mercy will save you. But that's not what the Bible teaches. And we have to stand firm upon the word of God, or there will continue to be a famine in the land. And friends, the greater the famine, the greater the lack of respect for the authority of God's word. God's word is what sustains us spiritually. And by studying his word, we can know and understand his will to avoid the confusion that is so prevalent in the religious world today. His word will also keep us from falling and help us to stand. But we must take it as it is, the very word 
of God. We must believe it. We must put it into practice. We need to use it as our exclusive guide in all matters religious. God has given us his word to feed us spiritually, and we need to take advantage of that blessing so that we do not perish in this spiritual famine. Friends, we want to thank you for joining us for our program today. And may God bless you with a wonderful day.